So everyone right now in the Grand Theft Auto community is pretty much looking at Rockstar and saying, why? Why do you hate your fans? Why do you hate the community? Because we just had so many anniversaries go by, the 25th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto series altogether, and the 20th anniversary of GTA Vice City, and not only did Rockstar not announce or reveal GTA 6, they also didn't do anything at all. They didn't do anything special in GTA Online or any acknowledgement or announcement or anything like that. They just totally let the opportunity go by. And now we're on Halloween, the final day of October, the month that Rockstar traditionally has announced games prior in the past. It doesn't look like anything is going to come about. But it looks like we legitimately might have a decent idea of when Rockstar could announce GTA 6, considering the way Rockstar have talked about Grand Theft Auto 6 in the past officially, aside from the message that they put out where they basically had to say, you know, we had an intrusion, we were hacked, yes, that is footage or early development footage of the next Grand Theft Auto game, we're going to share more with you when we can. But previously, when Rockstar did so in February and then over the summer, they made Newswire articles that weren't necessarily about Grand Theft Auto 6. They just kind of like tagged that information along. So that's how they've been doing it so far. It wouldn't surprise me if that's how they ended up doing it going forward in the future. And that's what Tez Funds 2, Rockstar Games Insider, believes might be the case as well. So he said this, This Thursday, there's a fair chance Rockstar may announce info about the next GTA update considering a new GTA Plus event will start and the new heist challenge. I know this isn't related to GTA 6, but I like to speculate, which I'd like to remind y'all is an effect, that Rockstar could announce the info in a sort of community update. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk about my educated guess. So yes, this is speculation, but given what I just talked about in the beginning of this video, that anytime Rockstar has mentioned Grand Theft Auto 6 in the past, it's been done so in a sort of community update, something that doesn't necessarily have to do with Grand Theft Auto 6 or even GTA. So this is a perfect opportunity for Rockstar to do something like that. It's also a nice opportunity for them to give us some more details because at this point, the cat's out of the bag. We've seen the leaks. Rockstar has acknowledged them. So we're now all wondering, why isn't Rockstar starting to talk about this? And the longer things go on, the weirder it gets and the more worried that fans in the community seem to get as well. Now, in case Thursday comes and goes and we don't hear anything, this is what Insider Tez Funds 2 said. I'm on the phone with Strauss Zelnick, who again is the Take-Two Interactive CEO and chairman. He says if 10,000 players subscribe to GTA+, Plus, then he will upload a TikTok of him Fortnite dancing. If a 1,000 people match his dancing skills within 24 hours, only then will he decide to push Rockstar to announce GTA 6. So there we go. That's what we have to do. We have to subscribe to GTA Plus and then be able to emulate his amazing Fortnite dancing skills. I'm totally joking, by the way. But there is some interesting GTA Plus developments that are going on as we got more follow-up from Insider Tez Funds 2 who said an interesting development has happened to the marketing team for GTA Plus behind the scenes. So we could see changes to Rockstar's approach within the next events, maybe with the November event starting this Thursday. So again, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that ends up happening this Thursday, and it could be some GTA 6 stuff, or it could be Rockstar changing the way they do their events all the way around. Now, to kind of explain it, it looks like they hired someone for a new position they had it previously open. It's now gone. Again, we're not sure what the changes are yet, but Rockstar is specifically hired for someone and they have filled that role. So some changes are definitely coming in the pipeline. Now, again, even if it doesn't have to do with GTA 6, Insider Tez Funds 2 ended up saying this. I just realized that since a new GTA Plus event starts this Thursday, possibly alongside the new Heist Challenge, the end date should reflect when we should expect the new update. So there's a fair chance we might receive an announcement from Rockstar in regards to what we can expect from the next update. So the next update in Grand Theft Auto Online is definitely around us soon. Even with all the GTA 6 stuff going on, we're still gonna be getting a winter, December Grand Theft Auto Online update. 
Now, that shouldn't have any impact on GTA 6's potential announcement if it is still going to happen in the month of October, November, December of this year in 2022, but there is going to be a new update. Now, again, that hasn't stopped Rockstar in the past from actually talking about things they want to do. Remember that Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced just days after the release of the GTA Online Bikers update. And it definitely seems like the entire gaming community is also all interested in this. Usually we see Grand Theft Auto 6 or GTA Online start to trend on social media. But what I've been seeing recently over the last 24 hours and over the weekend is that Rockstar Games is just simply trending. It's not surprising given everything that's going on in their two current games, Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5, but it's still interesting to see that they're trending amongst all the speculation that something new is going to be announced soon. And something being announced this Thursday would actually line up really well with what Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have the following Monday, and that is their earnings call. This happens four times a year. This is gonna be one of their quarterly ones happening on Monday, November 7th. So if some news were to be announced, let's say on Thursday, November 3rd, that would be a perfect time for people to get excited, for their stock price to go up, and then on that Monday meeting, they'd be able to talk about official news from Rockstar because typically on those, when asked about stuff Rockstar's doing, they always default and say like, we're gonna wait for Rockstar to announce something like that. But if they have announced something like that, then they can talk about it, they can get excited, they can answer questions about it, they can get their stockholders and investors excited. It's a win-win for everyone because at the end of the day, Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar Games are doing what they're doing to make money. And I know that's not what everyone wants to hear, but that's the case. And so if it makes sense for them to make an announcement where it will make more money from them, that's when they're going to do it. Not on an anniversary and not on a certain date because some random person online says so or something like that. But we're just going to have to follow this situation very carefully. I think this has a lot of sense and makes a lot of sense as well. So I'll definitely be sure to keep you guys posted. But when do you think the official Grand Theft Auto 6 announcement is going to be. Do you think it's going to be sometime this year? Do you think it's going to slip into 2023? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.